Hey, what up decisive marketers? Today we have a WordPress plugin that allows you to create uh, advanced grid layouts with real-time faceted search for your e-commerce blog portfolio and more. Right, today's plugin is called PureNet Grid Builder. Now, uh, with PureNet Grid Builder, it's really simple for you to start building uh, grids that you can use it to embed on your WordPress site or use them as a standalone page as well. Now, before we dive into PureNet Grid Builder, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. Right, uh, so let me just dive in right here. So here we are in uh, PureNet Grid right here they've got some demos uh, right here and I'm going to show you how to very quickly be able to create a grid for yourself so this is uh, one of the grids that they have uh, and these are you know infinite scrolling grids that they have uh, this one right here as well uh, with you know uh, navigation as well carousel uh, and you know uh, you know bestseller you know uh, grids as well and uh, post grids um, you know WooCommerce grids like this that is based on categories and uh, this one right here where you can filter uh, the products as well right very um, simple uh, to use okay right and there are also some uh, WooCommerce demos uh, right here that they have on their website okay so this is the one with um, you know uh with uh you know facet right here for you know dynamic searches uh, and then you can sort stuff right here you can put um, images for filters you can put colors right and also uh you know there there is some navigation right here so what we're going to be doing here is uh you know show you how to set this up right very simply uh you know pure net grid builder uh, they have demos right here so uh, you can just pick and choose uh, any of this demo and import it and it will create uh, one of these cards right here right and uh, you can then edit these cards uh, with the PureNet grid uh, you know builder right here okay so how it works is based on cards grids facets right and then your archive templates or you can also create a template from scratch okay so uh, so this is the card cards are individual um, you know uh, you know items right here right so you can you know uh, this uh, a product card that I have and then I uh, I have an image in here with the discount and uh, the uh, options right here and also uh, I can choose you know the options right here as well right and then you can add to cart and you have your price and the product uh, title here and of course you can make uh, you know changes uh, in here uh, you can set static images or dynamic data so uh, you can pick the featured image coming from WooCommerce okay so you can do something like that uh, you can set the expect ratio uh, you know then then the uh, custom URL you can have it dynamically link to the post or you can change this as well right you want to change any of the information here you can do so as well uh, and you do you want it to be uh, you know link or uh, sorry self or blank uh, you can put caption in there as well lazy load loading you can enable them as well uh, you, know, you can set up your your image styles your borders right as well as uh, you know your typography and so on right animation right can turn them on as well okay so this is for cards and uh, the next thing is once you have the cards then you got to set up your grids so your cards will be in the grid itself okay so what we have right here is uh, so the grid uh, that I have um, let me just show you how it looks like okay oops this is not the right one let me just open this up okay so it looks like this um, this is because this is the uh, 
the uh, custom post type right here so uh, it is you know taking up the, the entire width but once you put that into the uh, the archive template then it's going to uh, you know be uh, you know responsive to your your width of the page itself so this is how it looks like okay so with your individual cards right here okay and then uh, next thing is you got to set up the facet the facet will be for your you know filters and searches okay so this is this is one that we have okay right you can set up the colors and everything so uh, and then lastly would be the archive template right here so all of them they have a demo so they can import them uh, and set them up much faster uh, so you can then uh, this would be the archive right here okay so then this would be uh, you know everything in here so you got your search, right? Your categories, you can, you know, filter them easily, right here, right? And uh, and pretty much that's how you set up a uh, archive template. Uh, you can, you know, filter them with the facet, uh, and then there there are also templates that it's already um, you know you can import them as well okay where there are no uh, you know filters and stuff like that uh, you know except for this one right here okay so you can import them let's say you have to import this okay and then you can make use of this and uh, they give you a short code that you can use to uh, you know embed this in there okay so uh, you can edit them if you like okay so this one is not um, loading well I think let me see I think it's this one right here for the facet okay so there we go right so what happens is that this will show the uh, products okay and then uh, you have your your filters right here as well okay because I don't have any block content on this test side so you I can't uh, replicate the uh, this one that you actually can see from uh, here right this one right here so this is the demo that that shows up on their site so if you got some uh, you know content uh, you know blog posts you can then dynamically choose them to fill up right here and uh, your categories will all be in here as well and you can uh, switch between pages Okay, and all you need to do once you're done is just to grab the short code and embed it onto your pages and uh, you can then display it, right? So uh, PureNet uh, Grid Builder is pretty simple to set up, um, doesn't take you too much time uh, and I think that um, if you if you don't plan to get something like WP Grid Builder, I think PureNet Grid Builder is a uh, uh, you know uh, an option for you. My only concern with PureNet Grid Builder is that they don't actually have a uh, sort of uh, you know infinite scrolling feature where let's say you have more products more than let's say uh, nine or or, or 15 or 48 uh, products then you can actually this you can actually um, you know lazy load and infinite scroll them uh, and when you filter them it will just you know uh, show up all the products easily right so I think that's something that it's missing with PureNet Grid Builder uh, otherwise I uh, another issue I guess would be uh, you know they are quite new as a plugin I guess they could have more uh, more 
templates as well right to choose from but if you're looking for something simple uh, to create your grids that looks uh, nice as well I think Pionet Grid Builder is a great option and that's all I have in this video I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this if you did do give me a thumbs up uh, if if you know anyone who could benefit from uh, a grid builder uh, for WordPress, right? Be sure to share this video video with them. And lastly, let me know what you think about Pionet Grid Builder in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video.